This is the Earth Science Classroom. In this video, we are drawing out a diagram of a convergent plate boundary, looking at the oceanic to oceanic convergence, the boundary and the margin, and the features that go along with these two plates that converge and collide together. So these two plates are both oceanic. They are both generally thinner, between 5 to 15, up to 20 kilometers in thickness. And I've drawn in a thin layer of sedimentary rock that's on the very top surface of the plate. And of course, the plate is made up of both the crust and lithosphere. And the moho is the bottom black layer, black line, which separates the plate or the crust to the upper mantle. So we're going to draw in the asthenosphere, which is that larger, thicker layer that's directly beneath the lithosphere and the plate. It is plastic. It flows due to the heat and the deformation that happens inside of this layer. It is a denser rock material, but it has the ability to move and have convection currents within this layer, which is the driving force and the mechanism behind what moves the plates on the surface, and this is creating all different features like subduction. Convection currents actively drag down and pull the above plate, and in terms of subduction, the left-hand side plate, which is basalt, the same as the right-hand side, which is also basalt because they're both oceanic, the left-hand side plate is slightly denser and slightly heavier, 3.0 grams per centimeter cubed, which means that side is going to subduct when colliding with the lighter 2.9 grams, and you get this angle of subduction underneath the lighter floating plate on the right-hand side. This subduction causes melting and decompression melting of basaltic magma to rise up through the lighter plate and create volcanoes on the ocean floor, eventually creating islands, volcanic islands, and creating a chain of islands along parallel to this boundary. And it also creates an ocean trench, the deep part of the ocean where the subduction occurs. And then you can actually see the distance of the volcanoes from the trench and it's consistent and parallel along the entire chain of volcanoes and along this convergent plate boundary. An example would be the Caribbean or the Pacific Ocean Islands around the Western Pacific. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.